Hey guys, Courtney here with Millennial vs. Machine. I hope you are having a great day today. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the podcast. As most of you know, I've been a little bit MIA on the podcast in the group here as of late, but it's because I'm working on a lot of amazing things uh, for the book, for my family's nonprofit, and for my company. So today I wanted to share with you an interview that I did recently with a local nonprofit called The Get Together. Learn more about Millennial versus Machine, my mission, as well as my family's nonprofit organization, and hopefully just inspire you and motivate you. So uh, check it out. Hey, today we have a special treat for everyone. We have Courtney King, a, a Houston uh, and Dallas Fort Worth real estate mogul on on our on our get together show mogul okay yes and uh, Courtney's just so interesting y'all are going to really enjoy the, uh, meeting her she's a graduate of Pepperdine University she runs a uh, a real estate company called King Realty and Management they work in Dallas Fort Worth and other metropolitan areas. She is the author of a book called Millennial versus Machine. And Courtney, we're going to come back to that because I want to know how millennials versus the machine works. But it certainly seems like a book I can read because I think it's 56 pages. So I kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, now, it also says she's a serial entrepreneur. So I really want to know what a serial entrepreneur is what are they like? Last time I heard cereal in front of something, it was an ax murderer or something. I know you know that. Uh, now her passion uh, is to pursue God's purpose for her life and to share the experiences and wisdom passed down from her parents to motivate and help people fulfill their calling and purpose. Now I want to tell you, that's a great mission statement. Uh, she resides in Manville, Texas, and is actively growing her business and is also uh, working uh, with her family on a nonprofit called King Sovereign Farms. So we're going to get to all this stuff. But Courtney, it is a pleasure to have you with us today. Roger, thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you for the introduction. And just thank you to everybody at the get together for having me today. You are certainly welcome. Okay, you are an entrepreneur and you've accomplished so much. Uh, I want to know where you get your motivation to take on so many challenges and new endeavors. And while you're explaining that, I really want to know what a serial entrepreneur is. <laughs> okay, so first of all, um, I guess to start, what really motivates me is uh, my background. Okay. I reflect on my background. I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon. I'm a West Coast girl. Uh, I'm the oldest child in my family. I'm one of six siblings. And uh, both of my parents came from poverty. And growing up, I saw how hard they worked to give my siblings and I uh, more opportunities, um, more experiences to show us that there's so much more to life um, and that we can go get it and we can grab it. And so Knowing how hard they worked and how hard they continue to do so just motivates me and keeps me going. Um, and then my second motivation is just knowing that a day is going to come when I have to give an account for my life. We all will, right? Um, did I do what the Lord you know, wrote about me in his book? Was I obedient as he was leading me? Um, did I love him with my whole heart? Did I love my neighbor? All of these things are, are questions that I'm sure are going to be asked and I want to be able to say yes. Um, so those are my two main uh, motivators and a serial entrepreneur. And I love the joke because I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You usually use serial with another <laughs> type of profession, I guess you would say. Um, but basically, my my dad has been an entrepreneur ever since I was a little kid. And so I have grown up um, having family businesses that have fed and clothed us. And so anywhere from real estate brokerage, property management, general con contracting company, food cart company, a lot of different uh, entrepreneur endeavors um, as a family. So that's what makes us serial entrepreneurs. 
It's an entrepreneur doing many different entrepreneurships. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> One of those is an author. She's an author and wow. she wrote a book called Millennial versus Machine. I want to hear about this because I love to see books that tell us a story in 56 pages. Absolutely. So this is the story about how I got someone else to pay off my student loan debt through real estate investing. Um, you say it's 56 pages. It's a quick read intentionally because I know, especially millennials, um, we don't necessarily read a whole lot. I know that's a huge generalization. Hopefully I didn't just offend somebody. Um, but I am a millennial and the machine is this thing called student loan debt. And so um, over the past few years with the ups and downs of the economy, student loan debt has been such a big problem for many people, many millennials. And um, at the same time, um, everybody's talking about the problem, but they're not really talking about an actual viable solution. And so um, I've been super blessed to have the dad that I have, who is a real estate broker and um, investor. And so he's been teaching me about real estate since I was a kid. And I got an opportunity to purchase an investment property right out of college with his guidance. And I thought, you know what, this is a huge testimony that can potentially help other people. They don't even have to be millennials. It can be anybody with any sort of debt. And I literally t um, tell my story and walk them through step by step on how they can invest in real estate and have this asset that generates the cash flow to pay for the liability, which is student loan debt or any other debt at that. And so um, it's been super fun sharing my story. And uh, I have a podcast that goes right alongside it. It's called the Millennial versus Machine Podcast. And it allows me to kind of take the concepts in the book, go a little bit deeper. Um, and, you know, I host it. So it kind of allows me to connect with the audience that's reading the book a little bit uh, more closely. That sounds so it's it's good for you don't have to be a millennial if you knew of someone that was an old washed up older person they might be able to use this book maybe to pay other kind of debts absolutely i've actually had some people write reviews baby boomers that have other debt not necessarily student loan debt but it's very um simple it brings the whole concept of real estate investing down to kind of the simplest form because it doesn't have to be complicated cool i'm gonna buy i'm gonna tell a friend of mine that uh, might have that need to buy it I okay agree. uh now everybody wants to know how to grow their businesses how to make money and particularly our audience wants to be good students of what stewards, not students, students and stewards of what God has given them. How does your desire to be successful and make money intersect with your desire to follow God's purpose in your life? Okay, this is so good. And to really answer the question, I want to share a little bit of my story and how I was before. Okay, so um, I graduate high school. I go to Pepperdine. Um, I start making plans for my life about, you know, plans to become an attorney. And I had everything just mapped out in my head. Okay. And my primary motivation was money, like get the money. <laughs> um, that's, that's what I feel like was instilled in me from a young age, get the money, especially coming from the background that I come from. And so then what happened through a series of events starting in 2017 is God started to change me. And you started to, to show me, no, the money is not the goal. <laughs> and so what really the goal that he showed me was is a surrendered life. Okay. That's the real goal that Jesus is the king. He has a kingdom. And then I'm called to play a role in that kingdom. Okay. So then my focus started to shift from the money um, and the grind in the business. And ever since then, I've gone, I've been on this journey of, learning my purpose, which is ever changing and evolving and really tuning my eyes and my ears and my heart toward the king and then being obedient to his instructions. And then sometimes when the instruction isn't clear, walking by faith and constantly acknowledging him um, in, in everything. And so now I operate, you know, in the sense with King Realty that, okay, King Realty 
and everything that I do from a business perspective and in life, it all belongs to God. And that I'm just a steward. I'm just a steward of these resources that he's provided me. And it really makes the, the verse in Matthew, seek first the kingdom of heaven and his right way of doing things and all these things will be added. That's really my guide. So when I do just that, when I seek his kingdom and his righteousness, then I'm going to be successful in business. Um, but most importantly, successful in feeling what God wants me to complete. And, and that really has transformed my life knowing that, that it's not about the money, but rather his kingdom. And we're here to be good stewards of that. Right. Now, the other thing you said, which is meaningful, we all have to remember, yes, we are stewards of the money. Yes, we're stewards of the resource. One of those resources is our lives. Yes. And that we are answerable to God for the talents and treasures he's given us. And we, we sometimes forget. We go, wow, we are also, it's our life that he's given us that he has saved. All right, let me, uh, a final question here. Tell us a little bit about King's Sovereign Farm. And to you folks that are listening, it uh, King's King Sovereign Farms is one of our merging partner ministries. So we'll be hearing more about that. But uh, Courtney, in the meantime, tell us about this ministry. Well, I'm super excited um, to begin. I started with the get together last year as an entrepreneur wanting to use my resources to help the ministries. And now um, I'm so thankful and honored that we have the opportunity to participate as a ministry. And, and I'll be honest with you, the nonprofit space is totally new to me and my family. <laughs> so um, I, I'm just really thankful to be here. Um, King Sovereign Farms is a, uh, a mandate that the Lord gave us. And he basically said, hey, y'all feed my people. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing. It's a fruit and vegetable farm in Brazoria County. And we're dedicated to educating and feeding the community. And I'll be sharing more, um, like you said, about this in this season of the get together. Um, but one of our initiatives is our senior farm bag program, where we provide seniors in our community with uh, bags of fresh pesticide-free uh, mm -hmm. vegetables mm. Uh, during our harvest season. And um, it's just been amazing. Last year, we were able to service uh, or serve 40 um, seniors and their families. This harvest season that's coming up, we've got 50 seniors and their families that have already um, signed up. And I think just we understand that uh, seniors generally are on a fixed income and may not have the resources to buy organic vegetables. But at the same time, from an age perspective, you know, the nutrition is really, really important. And so um, we just want to really promote you know, good nutrition, um, even educational opportunities to show them how they can grow their own fruits and veggies as well, um, and just really um, leave our mark on the community and fulfill the mandate, which is feeding God's people. That is, this is that's perfect. What a great description. This has been a pleasure to get to know you, and looking forward to hearing more about a King Sovereign Farm and what happens in your life and. Uh, just many blessings from us at the get together to you. And thanks for being part of our family. Thanks so much guys for tuning into the interview with Roger and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it inspiring. Got to learn a little bit more about me and what I'm about. Now guys, before the end of the year, I'm going to drop one more episode and you will not want to miss it. It has to do with things that you should know going into 2021 if you are trying to get started in investing in real estate you won't want to miss it so stay tuned the podcast is available on spotify apple google and so many other platforms visit courtneymking.com slash podcast to learn more and uh last but not least i am going to drop a free millennial versus machine course I'm working on it, putting the finishing touches on it. And so keep an eye out. If you are interested in getting access to this free course, comment below. You will be the first to know once it's actually published. But this course is especially for some of you guys that have the information from the podcast and the book and need a little bit of an extra push to get started. 
this course is for you. So make sure you visit CourtneyMKing.com slash podcast and stay tuned for one last episode of 2020. Have an amazing day.